Finding the right school for your child can mean all the difference for their future, and there's one local school that's focusing on the future and taking kids on what it calls an epic journey. Joining us from our friends at Detroit Country Day School are Danielle Carmanis, a parent and member of the school's board of trustees, and Tim Bearden, the school's chief academic officer. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning. How is uh, Detroit Country Day uh, inspiring students to thrive? Well, I, you know, one of the things I'm so excited about right now, we have um, the Vivid campaign, which we've launched at Country Day, sure. and um, we're building this fantastic environment that's really um, approaching technology and unique um, forward thinking and collaborative ways. Mm -hmm. So how do we approach technology, not only in this moment, but also in 5, 10, 15 years, and really that's what Country Day is doing right now. We're designing our facility and our approach to technology to mm -hmm. be collaborative. So kids understand truly how to work together, like I said earlier, from the outside in, and then I think that feeds into quality of character from the inside out, when they know really understand empathy and collaboration and how to use that with technology. And uh, you just had a ribbon cutting for a new middle school, plans for a new lower school? Yeah, we'll be breaking ground, um, I think, in a week and a half, and uh, we'll have the preschool through fourth grade. And again, it's going to go back to that technology and not only approaching how we use technology in this moment, um, but also what's happening down the road. And this epic journey that I referenced at the top of the interview, uh, Tim, can you explain what, what you mean by that? Yeah, epic is an acronym that we use to articulate our instructional philosophy, so it's kind of a mouthful. EPIC stands for experiential, participatory, image-rich, interdisciplinary, connected learning. Hope you were note-taking, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> There's going to be a pop quiz It'd at the end quiz. of this segment. Yeah, so the idea is to give kids an experience and engage them in their learning in a way that's interactive as opposed to being passive recipients of instruction from a teacher. So the, the EPIC approach is a way for us to kind of shift our conversation from the what we're teaching to how we're teaching it and teaching it in a really engaging way. And we're looking at uh, still images here on the screen of inside the classroom. Uh, I would imagine that class loads are, are favorable to the, the kids. Yeah, I mean, in terms of class sizes? Yeah. Yeah, about 15 kids in a class. Um, and you can see the classrooms are designed to be mobile. They move, they can be reconfigured in different ways for collaborative experiences, for opportunities for kids to interact with one another the teacher and the content in different ways. So each classroom is specific to the content of that classroom. Uh, we have some items on the table here in front of us, some unique items. Uh, would either of you take a stab at explaining what we're looking at here? Sure, this is sort of the intersection between engineering and art um, that is part of our STEAM philosophy and uh, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So these are um, pieces that were designed using a CAD program printed on a 3D printer or laser cut um, and so kind of an intersection of engineering and technology and then artistic design. So the piece you're holding there is a necklace created by one of our upper school students, printed on the 3D printer, designed on a CAD program. These, uh, this is actual a necklace with gears that function. Okay, tell us about the event that's coming up. We have an open house the open coming house. up on October 21st. Yeah, it's from one to three. Opportunity for people to visit the school, the campuses, all the different campuses, get to meet teachers, administrators, parents who are members of our school community and mm -hmm. get a feel for what it's like to be at Detroit Country Day School. Uh, speaking of what it's like to be at Detroit Country Day, we have a proud graduate who proud. is joining us on Yellow set. Yellow jacket, right there. <laughs> Our own Kyla Peoples, class right. of. 97, baby. 97. Class of 97, that's right. You definitely represented coming out here with that varsity jacket on. <laughs> to learn more about the details of the open house we were talking about a moment ago, that's October 21st, and all that Detroit Country Day has to offer, visit the website dcds.edu slash discoverdcds.